Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is easy Easter songs to play on your guitar. I thought it would be fun to share a couple of Easter-themed songs. One is a classic song from a classic movie, and the other is a fun children's song. Do you know someone who would like to play guitar? If so, be sure to share my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Let them know with this course, it's easier than ever to start playing guitar right away. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more guitar playing skills, then check out my Lesson of the Month Club. You'll learn a new guitar playing skill every single month. The links for the Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course and the Lesson of the Month Club are in the show description on your podcast app or go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. So I'm going to parade these songs by you. Actually, that was my not-so-subtle segue into the first song, Easter Parade. The song Easter Parade was written by Irving Berlin and published in 1933. It was originally written as Smile and Show Your Dimple, a cheer-up song in 1917. But then, in 1933, Mr. Berlin gave the song its now-familiar Easter lyrics. It was first sung by Marilyn Miller and Clifton Webb. It was later performed by Donna Amici in Alexander's Ragtime Band in 1938. It was featured in the movie Holiday Inn, starring Fred Astaire and Bing Crosby. But it's most widely associated with the musical film Easter Parade, starring Judy Garland and Fred Astaire. The movie was constructed around the song and is sung by Judy Garland and Fred Astaire in the final scene. Other artists who have recorded this song include Frank Sinatra, Rosemary Clooney, Sarah Vaughn, Bing Crosby, Harry James, Guy Lombardo, and Liberace, to name a few. To play this song, you'll use the chords D, D7, G, E, B minor, A, E7, and A7. And with this version, you'll play the song using your capo on fret 3. I like to play this song with a simple strum, but picking is always an option if that's in your wheelhouse. Or I would invite you to play around with this song's rhythm and come up with your own strumming or picking style. Also, if you've not yet seen the movie, you should check it out. It has great music, a decent storyline, and an outstanding cast. The other song I thought you might like to play is the children's song, Here Comes Peter Cottontail. This song was written by Steve Nelson and Jack Rollins in 1949. They are the same writing duo who also wrote Frosty the Snowman in 1950. Mervyn Shiner was the first artist to record the song on Decca Records in 1950. It reached number eight on the Billboard Hot 100. Then, due to the popularity of Gene Autry's Christmas songs, Here Comes Santa Claus and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the writers asked Mr. Autry to record their song. 
His version was recorded on the Columbia record label and peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot Country Hits and number five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. In 1971, Rankin Bass Productions produced an animated Easter television special called Here Comes Peter Cottontail. It was based on the 1957 novel The Easter Bunny That Overslept by Priscilla and Otto Frederick. The television special features the song by Nelson and Rollins, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, and first aired on ABC, then on CBS, Fox Family, The CW, Cartoon Network, and in 2005, it was followed up by a computer-animated sequel, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, The Movie. To play this song, you'll use the following four chords, G, C, D7, and A7. And as with the first song, you'll also place your capo on fret three. I like to play this song with a simple 4-4 time signature picking pattern, but again, strumming is always an option, and of course, any other way you'd like to make your musical magic with this song. The links for these songs are in my Thursday Tips blog on my website, marlenesmusic.com. I hope you enjoy your Easter parade of songs and... Peter Cottontail's arrival. Happy Easter and happy spring. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.